for cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to mask in Photoshop. Just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now if you're wondering where I've been for the past 5 days, I haven't uploaded in 5 days, I know it's really bad, I've been sick, you can probably still hear it in my voice, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm feeling a bit better and I can make a video for you guys. Now I know I've also got the EGX giveaway to reveal and I'm going to do that in 2 days, so there's still 2 days to enter, if you haven't entered be sure to check the description. And if you can't tell already, my PC has been fixed. Anyway, enough of that, let's get on to the video. So I've got a picture here of a gorilla, and what I'm going to do is mask it out. So I'm going to show you how to mask. First of all, we go ahead and drag this into Photoshop. So the image is now on the screen, we need the masking tool, which is also known as the pen tool. So this is it right here, go ahead and click this. Now you want to make sure you're on the pen tool, if not, go ahead and click and drag, and make sure you have clicked pen tool right here. Now to make things easier for you, use the magnifying tool for your advantage, so go ahead and zoom into the part where you would like to start. Personally, I'd start on a corner, and I'm going to start on this one right here, the left, the right leg I should say, here. So I'm going to zoom in about this much, and I'm going to begin to mask, so I'm going to start doing around the outside, and I'll show you how to do this. So we're going to go back to the masking tool, right here, and now we begin to mask, so it's just left click the entire way, and of course this does require some patience, so make sure you're a patient person doing this now obviously the longer you spend on this the better it will look overall I'm only rushing it because I don't want to spend too much time on this for the tutorial and yeah I see I kinda of messed it up there press control alt and Z to go back and there we go so you can see as well if the lighting in the image is a bit too bright it's gonna make it a bit harder for you as well but it's still okay you can still see the outline here so I'm just gonna keep going like this and I'm going to fast forward it until I get to a part where I'll explain how I'm going to do. Okay, so here we go. This is the part I wanted to show you. So you can see I've got to the bottom here. Now we need to go ahead and get up to this part. Now the way you do this, you actually have to go off screen. So you can see this is my final point I've just put down. Come down here off the screen. Come straight back up to where you want to begin. And then you just continue like this. So it's that simple. And that is how you get around uh, this part right here. And you do the same thing when you get down there. So I'll speed it up until I get back down here. So I'm back down here, again we're going to go off the screen, we're going to go back up here, we can go ahead and make a little box shape like this, and then we can go ahead and come back up and just continue to do this. And again we're going off again, and we're linking back up to the one we started on, boom, every point is now connected. Now the next step, all you need to do, right click and click create vector mask or you can go ahead and click make selection personally I always use make selection for this so if we go ahead and press this press OK if I go ahead and zoom out you can see it's got these dots around it that means we can now freely move it so you need to uncheck this lock right here by just clicking it like that and now look at that we've masked out the griller so if I go ahead and just go and make a new one right here, so 1280 by 720 because that is a video size. On the move tool, go ahead and just move your selection, drag and drop, boom. Now you can see here there are some jagged edges. Now the reason for that, I rushed the mask. So you guys shouldn't have this problem, but if you do and you did take your time on the mask, then simply just zoom in and you can come to the eraser tool right here and you can go ahead and just smoothen it out like so. Now, it's actually really quick to do it this way. I prefer to do it this way. Someone actually mentioned that when I did a speed up to make uh, the Gaming Lemons intro. If you haven't checked that out, link to that will be in the description. I made his intro and the template on it. So, go ahead and just keep going like this. 
and you'll see, I haven't done all of it, I've only done a little bit, but you'll see straight away, it's already looking smoother there, and you can really see that straight away, it, it does look much smoother. Now, of course, if you do have other techniques to use to smoothen out the edges, it's completely up to you. This is just the one I use, and I recommend it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have followed this tutorial, and I hope it has helped you. Now, if you didn't know already, I've got a new channel coming out pretty soon. That is the initials right there, CSTN. If you know, well, if you guess what it is, then you're pretty smart. But that's coming out pretty soon. It will have daily videos. It's going to require a lot of time, but I'm still going to keep up this channel as well. And yeah, my PC's back, so that means much more videos on tutorials. I can start up Cinema 4D again. I need to reinstall all my programs. Currently, you can see at the bottom, i got Vegas, I've got Photoshop, and i got Camtasia with Fraps and Audacity. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Extreme Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated what I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel, which I'm signing up pretty soon. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, where I just see what I do throughout my day. See so yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace. <laughs>